Yeah, boy. Right, now we're going to go in and fix these and see if we can get them working. So, yeah, so this is the one that I wanted to fix as it, it was sold and faulty. And as you can see here, we have the one what is what it's meant to look like working. As you can see, it's pretty much just a a um, nano pet um, puppy, um, which is pretty cool. Same food and everything, and um, a little bit different sound, but yeah, really cool. And you can link them up, as you can see there. So that's pretty sweet, and I want to be able to try and link them up together and see what happens. So when I play them a bit longer. But that's that's them. Um, you see. So we're gonna try and see what's wrong with this. So this is this one. As you can see, it's in pretty nice condition. And the thing that's wrong with this is the contacts. I've already removed, or the batteries are already removed. Sorry. From this one and as you can see the contacts are pretty rough so I reckon if I give it a clean uh, maybe put some tin foil on it that could work we're gonna take it apart and as well and um, try and get it cleaned up as good as we can but I'm gonna see if it does anything with these got brand new batteries here I'm gonna try and see if it does anything at all I put batteries in it because apparently it was sold not working so yeah nothing so we'll try it see what happens if it doesn't work it doesn't work but we'll see what if I can get it working again so, as you can see, we're doing that there so you, you can get a bit more access to where the what needs cleaning. So, I need to get some more, but what I use is isopropyl propyl alcohol. Um, yeah, I need to get some more of this as I'm pretty low. But dab a bit on one of these um, cotton, per cotton buds and just give it a little wipe on the contacts. And try and remove any corrosion battery acid and this usually brings it up but by the see of this one it's quite it's quite bad you see like there's corrosion there and that's all completely gone If that doesn't work, no way. Is I sometimes use Brasso, the cotton version, so it looks like this, and that can bring it up into a nice shine. Rub some of that on there.
you can see this one done so far, it's a little bit better. Just trying to get all the excess off. No action. As you can see. Next thing I try is some tin foil now. See if we can do it to work like this. And that in there. And now we'll place batteries in there. That one goes down, that one goes up. Nothing. Ooh. Hear that? No picture though. Slightly. Here we go, working with a bit of a uh, bit of whatever tin foil. As you see, it works. Two of them are now running. So what you need to do tin foil is now in there, it's like a good one. To both sides now, but yeah, a bit of tin foil like that, guys. If you a bit of tin foil on there like that, so it touches the contacts. So, as you see, because now I should be fixed if I get the back on again. did fix it but now it's not it's not giving it the contact oh that's why I could it's, it's it's gone so that's the thing that it's moved now so then I don't know where it's gone this isn't even screwed in so we can do that is it even good no oh. Literally inside the whole thing. So we're gonna screw this back anyway. I'll screw this back up and then I'll show you it um fully working. Right, let's do it. There we go. There we go. As you can see there. There we go. That's two of them. Let's see if we can link these up as well. Or maybe you have to be a certain age. There we go, it gives you the option to link. Wait for it to hatch and then um, I'll show you it linked up, see if it what it does. Next one I've got is this one, which is another one which is quite unique. Don't really know much about it yet, but this is this one. 
And uh, yeah, another one for the collection, which is pretty sweet. And if you want to do any, if I got the other dancer one, this one, this one works. I, just, I don't know if it's going to catch it in the light enough. You can see it is working, and it's very shiny. The back background on it is very shiny on it. But you see, it's working pretty decent. So that's good. So while I wait for this one to come to life, I'll put some batteries in this. This does work, I've tested this one out already. There we go. Let's try this out now. Let's link these up, see what happens. What goes in there? Let's go to that option. Okay. Link to it. Doing it, but it doesn't do it. No. We're going to try this one out and show you what this one's like. Move all this out of the way. Play this one. As you can see, got it working. Pixels aren't the greatest on it, but I think it's just the way it is on this. Do what I'm doing on it. <laughs> God knows. So yeah, I don't know. I don't really know much about it. It's just I'm just looking into it. The instructions I can't read because it's all in foreign. Steps. That's it, that's the video for today. So I'll do. Alright, thanks for watching guys, it's working. The other one needs a bit more work doing to it, but we'll get it working fully next time, so. So alright guys, this is a little while later. Um, I've got it all fully working, and um, I thought I'd show you it all working up and good. So, what I ended up doing, because I said before I was struggling with trying to get that to stay there all I did was I took it apart and stuck a bit of sir tape just like a really about that sort of size just across the circuit board where it's on and so it sticks on there and doesn't move so you've got the tin foil in there with that contact there it's fine isn't it so that's all I need to fix him so I got a bit of tin foil put it make like put it to like the size it needs to be stuck it down with some sir tape just like on the side of it just to hold it there and now when I put batteries in it works every time so yeah all working good just need to 
enter the timer like always. Where is it? Times here, you enter that in and that. But there we go. That's um, the virtual pet fixed. And I love this design. It's one of my favourite looking designs. It's pretty cool. As I said, it's this is a one from a band. It was like a, a thing that I think I don't know if it was a giveaway this or like a thing you got when you go and saw them. I know one of them was, but um, yeah, it's really cool. I like how you can link it up as I said before. So that's it. I just thought I'll show you that it's all working good, and that's all I needed to do. So yeah, what a price that was. That was a great bargain. Um, yeah, such a good thing to do. I love collecting these. I love fixing them up. One of my favourite things. Yeah. And um, when you get them to work, it's great. I don't always end up getting them to work. There's a few I've worked on a few times and there's no way of really getting them to work. And You know, because sometimes the screens go on them, which is really bad. Like the pixels go and it's just unplayable. Or there's ones where the contacts are just completely knackered. Or literally you put it put batteries in and literally have nothing nothing comes up nothing comes up on the screen and that's so but yeah that's a good result so massive thanks to everyone watching this really appreciate it guys and um and yeah i hope you see you all in the next one i hope you guys enjoying these as well guys i've been doing these recently showing you fixes and me unboxing this um something that i enjoy so thanks for watching guys and i'll see you all next one bye Yo.